Take a look. This is where the ground gave way in Whitefish Bay. Exclusive video from News Chopper 12 shows the sinkhole that swallowed part of the sidewalk on a busy trail right near Lake Michigan. The sinkhole is at the entrance to Buckley and Big Bay Parks right off Lake Drive near Bartlett Avenue. 12 News Kendall Keys is leading us off live at 10 and Kendall. There is a big fence there tonight. Patrick, this is as close as we can get this big metal fence, keeping everyone a safe distance back from the sinkhole. Tonight, engineers are working to figure out how this happened and if there's any danger to the surrounding homes and streets. The trail near the entrance of Big Bay Park and Whitefish Bay. I use that sidewalk every day. Is well traveled. I've been retired now and I come down here almost every day. That's where my husband and I walk every single day. But for how busy it is, nobody was walking on the sidewalk when it got swallowed up around 9 o'clock Sunday morning. I'm glad I wasn't standing there. Exposing a sinkhole about 20 feet deep. It looks like it's the size of a car. The only way to look down is from high up. News Chopper 12 showing the colossal collapse. There it is. Village Public Works officials blame a 90 year old storm sewer, a burst pipe underground causing everything above ground to give way. One of the major pipes that goes down 70 feet in the ground, uh, it most likely collapsed, which created an erosion issue with that utility. Engineers worked on site all day Monday. Making sure that we can get this utility back up and operational because it does take care of about 15 to 20 percent of our village with that stormwater. We need to make sure that that has positive flow as much as humanly possible, as quickly as possible. It made me wonder, are there other sinkholes around here that this could happen a second time? Cars driving alongside here, people who live here, do they have anything to be worried about? This perhaps growing or another one happening? So at this time, no, we don't have any immediate concern as far as this growing, but that's all unknowns as of right now. Well, Kendall, what's the timeline for making repairs? Patrick, no timeline yet. Experts and engineers are still trying to figure out how exactly to go about it. We do know, though, that they're going to have to go about 70 feet underground to access that burst pipe.